Apple has built a status symbol around its products, meaning having an Apple computer, a tablet, or an iPhone, or a smartwatch means you've got bragging rights. There's pride in that logo. Actors, comedians use it as a symbol of wealth, class, and status. Even more, Apple has created a reputation of making some of the most powerful tech durability-wise and performance-wise, along with being the brand you can trust to regularly update or patch its devices and applications, regardless of when they were created or made. With all its benefits, why should I hate Apple? In fact, Apple should be a brand of choice, a brand that no one should hate, a brand that someone should run to in case they need something powerful, something trustworthy. But why do I hate Apple so much? There are actually two major reasons as to why I despise Apple products. This reason applies to only a small group of people as many people would rather the minimalist user experience. Apple has ensured that it's either difficult or impossible to customize the user experience of their products or even upgrade or repair the device. You'll be required to stick with the same skin and look, plus or have the same user experience as when you bought the device. You want to change it? Well, you have to stick with it or leave it. You want to repair it? Then you have to pay a fortune to fix it. The same cannot be said for Windows or Android products. When you buy a product in Windows or Android, it's indeed yours. You can do whatever you please with it. You can customize its look or appearance. You can have the functionalities you please with it and experience what you want to experience with it. The second reason, in fact, the main reason as to why I despise app products is what I call the drug effect. Apple likes to keep you glued to its ecosystem by ensuring that you cannot live without it. It makes you have this dependency to it that you'll have to stick with its products regardless of whether the products are good or not good whether they're wacky or great for example when apple made butterfly keyboards for macbooks in 2018 the people had no option rather than remain in the system and incur costs of repairing these keyboards that were not great which could not be said for a windows platform for example Relating to the ecosystem, with Apple you really have too little to choose from. Take the smartphone market for example. For premium market, you will have iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro and Max to choose from. Don't get me wrong, these are some of the best phones with great performance, powerful processor and even great software. But you really have no choice than stick with them. If you have limited funds, for example, you have no options for premium devices. You will have to opt for dated iPhone devices or the lower end iPhone devices. This is not the case for the Android platform, however, because it has a lot of options to choose from in the premium department with prices ranging from 600 to over 1800. And you have a lot of decisions to choose based on the specs you want. If it's gaming, you have a powerful gaming phone for less than 600. If it is cameras you can get great phones some with even higher refresh rates and seemingly faster performance compared to the iphones with over 12 gb random access memory super fast ufs storage screens with excellent colors and insane refresh rates with unique and even more premium experiences like samsung fold and the motorola flip one may say apple processor a bionic chips trump over all the processors for android devices well that is technically true very much correct in fact on paper but in the real use case scenario you will never be able to see that disparity or difference in fact some android phones like samsung s line up or p40 pro look and seem even faster and sleeker than the iphones on paper the difference in performance looks like this but in reality the difference is way similar or better the disparity in choice is even more apparent in computers or pieces with Windows having unlimited choices in all price ranges, from well under 500 US dollars to over 50k, you can never actually miss out on a PC that could be perfect for your use case scenario without having to break a bank in Windows. However, in Apple products, this is not usually the case. You either have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook for laptops. For desktops, you either have an iMac series or a cheese greater Mac Pro, with the price difference being even huge, no middle ground. Customization still being a challenge in the PC department with Apple products. Well, you can basically build your own PC in Windows. In conclusion, however, Apple is still a great brand. 
with some of the best products you can ever find. In fact, there are million cases where I can name an Apple product or brand that actually trumps over all other competitors. But my advice to you would be it's best that you don't get stuck in that ecosystem. You don't get dragged by Apple so that you cannot miss out on great products elsewhere.